I'm Liz and welcome to our in progress home renovation. Today we visit the home of Liz Levy in the Travis Heights neighborhood of South Austin. Liz is currently renovating a 1940s bungalow and she has invited us in to follow along as she navigates a few surprises while turning this home into her hacienda meets England farmhouse dream. We hope you'll join us from start to finish as this is just the first of many looks into what is sure to become one of our favorite charming Austin, Texas homes. Home tours. In the foyer, we have our future powder room. We're going to be doing a wonderful sisal wallpaper in here, along with a marble floating sink that I'm getting off of Etsy. I'm more than happy to share the link with you. And then this is going to be our pantry, utility closet, coat closet, kind of everything will go in here. And then What's great about the foyer is that you wrap around the corner and you descend down into our great room. And our great room is going to have the kitchen, the island, the dining area, and then a living area with a fireplace. What you don't unfortunately see in this moment uh, is the full cathedral window. We have this incredible 16 foot tall cathedral window and that gives us a view straight out into the oak trees and the branches and the sky and it's a wonderful sunset because we face west so that'll be really lovely at night and we did you know full length windows here and french doors going out and in the future this will actually be a raised deck here to extend the living space so you can flow kind of from entertaining in here right out to the outdoors for the five days that we can sit out so outdoors. Um, all right, you ready? You ready? Okay, let's go. So we come back up into what is still the original part of the home. Um, this home was built in 1940. This original part was around 1,200 square feet. And then later on, about 20 years later, they added the front section because the older couple moved out and they turned it into a duplex. So really the only thing that remains of the original house are the floors and the ceilings. We rebuilt the front house because we discovered when we started doing demo that most of the walls weren't really walls and they were half walls. And that's actually what I think we have found a lot in this process is that with these older homes, you're not sure how they were built. And Austin has a lot of beautiful historic homes, especially downtown, or the ones that used to be along Rainy Street before they were moved or torn down. And those are ones worth saving. I think you kind of get it into your head, this grandiose idea that you can save a 1940s bungalow. You better want to double check what type of bungalow you're saving before you do. Um, but it's been wonderful to at least learn about the history, try to keep certain things intact. We're gonna save some of the shiplap ceilings and do that in the, in the final room. So we kept the shell and we kept some of the original layout and we just added it so that we could now have a three bedroom, two bath. So, or two and a half bath. Um, this will be an office slash bedroom. So kind of the first one with a closet. And if you come in, it goes into, a half Jack and Jill bath, so accessed by one room, but hallway for the other side. And there'll be a tub, and we're gonna do, you know, some wonderful kind of darker uh, patterns, slate floors in here, and just make it feel a little bit more masculine. Same, this will ultimately be an office. We'll do really dark green tones, wonderful brass antler chandelier, and bring that in. And then we come back into the hallway. This will be our master bedroom and master bath. So what we really wanted in the master bath was space. We both tend to always be in the bathroom at the same time, getting ready, showering. So we ultimately found we wanted like that extra space in here. And we like to take baths. So we'll have a bathtub here along the wall. Um, and then we'll have a full length two sink vanity here, little kind of more room for me for my station always. 
And then, so the thing I'm most excited about is our two-person shower. Uh, a his and a hers, and we're gonna do full-length glass. We're not doing a traditional steam shower because it's quite an expensive item and sometimes there can be issues with them, um, leaking or the humidity. So I think just by putting full glass, we'll still be able to kind of have some of the same effects of what it feels like. And then we have, of course, a little toilet room for, for you know, you know, everybody likes to have their little privacy in the toilet. Um, and, the look that we're going for overall is this Hacienda meets England farmhouse. So the engineered walnut floors, but then Satillo tile kind of in the bathrooms and in the laundry of varying shades, very earthy. I think I wanted to stay the furthest away I could from every modern white and black farmhouse I've seen. So we'll be doing cream colors on the outside, but a dark bronze metal roof and make it really feel warm and inviting. Um, you can put, kick your shoes off and kick your feet up and everything is just feels warm. We did taller windows in the master than anywhere else because we really enjoy laying in bed in the mornings, having our coffee, catching up about what might have happened, you know, the day before. And with that, you can see we have just this beautiful view looking up into the trees. And then you're probably looking out and thinking, okay, well, what do you do for privacy with neighbors? What I found is that fences are very expensive. So we're trying to save where we can. And that might be doing a really nice fence that's decorative along the front. And then for some of these other portions here, we'll do a, a shorter fence along the sides and then step it up to be taller here for that privacy. Um, it's just what you can do to save $5 here, put over there, and, and that's what it comes down to. Thanks so much for joining us on our charming Austin, Texas home tour. Check out the list of links featuring some of our favorite items from today's tour, and please make sure to like and subscribe for more content.